up on a cruise and broke her ankle. So I've been helping with that, being mom, amen? Yeah, you know what? You ain't never too old. You still somebody's child, amen? And she's still my child, and she's 36, and she broke her first bone on cruise. So she got some plates and some screws to go with it. But we thank God she made it through the surgery, amen? Mm -hmm. Then I got the flu. So I was sick with the flu last week. After all of our uh, wonderful time with the revival, then it was like you got uh, not only a one-two punch, but I think it was a sucker punch behind <laughs> some of this stuff, man. So I was, I don't know, I got hit on Sunday night, and by Monday I could barely get out of bed. But God. So then on Wednesday or Thursday, then Pastor fell 12 feet. So I could take my 75% body, because it wasn't quite 100% yet, and go to the hospital to meet him. Praying all the way. Well, I knew he was okay because I could hear him. But you don't know what's on the inside that can be done. And we made it through that. So if you ever had an accident before just, or just worked out, mm -hmm. you know how you work out sometimes and you start and you're like, oh, that first day ain't that bad. Mm -hmm. Woo. Then two days later, your hair hurt. Mm -hmm. Everything you thought you had. Everything. <laughs> yeah, your eyelids. <laughs> Stuff you forgot your hat. So this happened on Thursday. So by Saturday, guess what? <laughs> Somebody was oh, <laughs> can't move, can't turn, can't walk. <laughs> so, but God, but God, yes, Lord. So then I realized <coughs> this show week to preach. <laughs> so I know there's something from God. Gotta be. Gotta be something he wants to say. Amen. So if you will just for a moment just pray with me as we go wherever the Holy Ghost wants to take us. Amen. 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 On top of, let me just say this too. I had a very good friend get a, a diagnosis. Of cancer. and So she called with that. Then this morning, on my way to church, getting ready for church, a second friend called mm. with the same diagnosis. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But God. Let's pray. Father, I humbly submit myself to you. Crucify my own flesh and land it at your feet. And I'm asking you, Holy Ghost, to speak to me and through me. Let Brenda sit down and you speak in such a way that the people will know it's for them. We need a rhema word from on high. We need encouragement on today. So you use your words and 
guide me through scripture. Give me your wisdom, your knowledge and understanding. And God, what we'll do is give you the glory. And keep none for ourselves. Have your way in this place. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. And together we say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give God a great big hand. Hallelujah. I'm excited because I have no clue what it's going to do. Amen. 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 And people say, well, how, how's, that, how's that possible? Believe me, it's soon. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm working new glasses, so bear with me. Can I have the old one? Yeah, I got the old one too. I'm like, switch which one? So when you got bifocals at the bottom. So you got to get used to, you got to get the music, the medicine at the bottom and the medicine at the top is different. So I got to keep them on my face long enough where I can get acclimated to it. But that's okay. Amen. So we're going to go this morning. Uh, Matthew chapter 15. Thank you, Jesus. And we're just going to walk the scripture this morning and trust God. Amen? Amen. Chapter 15, we're going to start around verse 21. And I'll be reading from... The New King James Version this morning. So mine may read a little bit differently than yours. But that's okay. Matthew 15 and 21 reads. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him saying, Have mercy on me. O oh Lord, son of David, my daughter is severely demon-possessed. Now, if we just stop right there, and if I had to put a title to where we're going. I guess I would say when you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot at it and worship. Tie a knot at the end of your rope and worship. So here so far we know that Jesus was on his way to a region and here we have a woman of the region of Canaan approach. One, she had enough sense to know who she was coming to. She said, Lord, have mercy. But notice what she said. Have mercy on me. Now, in order for you to understand what her real cry is at this point, it's like, why is she asking for mercy? You got to know that mercy means that God don't give you what you really deserve. It means pity. Mm. So... Whatever's going on in her life, she must be feeling like it's partly her fault. Mm. Mm. Have mercy on me, Lord. Mm. 
son of David. Jesus, in verse 23, answered, answered her not. One word, not a word. Now you would think, well, Jesus, did he hear? Oh yeah, he heard. Would that be enough for you to quit when somebody ignores you? When you're at the end of your situation, when things are going as bad as it could possibly be going in your life, how much are you going to keep pressing forward to? Are you just going to back out when he ignored her? Because the word says, he, 23 says, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Sit away. For she cries out after us. How dare this Canaanite woman come and need? Sweet baby Jesus' attention. She's not from this region. We're not even on a mission about her. Notice what he did. Hmm. Verse 21 says, But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Not the region of Cain. This is not your time. Verse 25. Then she came and worshipped him. Lord, help me. And he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Now see how awesome that parable is. It's not good for me to take what was designed was I was here for another group. And I know I'm on a mission for this group over here. And you want to take my attention uh -uh. and get part of their blessing. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh. It's not good. Uh. How many of you know what's for you is for you? Yeah. It's still going to be for you. It's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. <clears throat> and she said, yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Mm. Then Jesus answered and said to her, oh, woman, great who is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Not my disciples. Not the people around you. Not the naysayers. I'm going to give you your desire because of your faith. Amen. That's it. Can you imagine as a mother, as a parent, that your child has severe ADHD? Let's just say that. <coughs> Have you ever been around somebody with ADHD? Attention deficit disorder or a 
attention hyperactivity disorder, just a what it can be still. Have you seen little kids who just bounce, bounce all the time? Just bounce, 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 bounce. And I mean, and sometimes they have to be medicated because they just bounce and flip and all that. I mean, they try not, they don't want to stay up, but they just literally cannot sit down. This is nothing compared to switch your brain to having maybe one demon that's bothering you. This is not the case with this woman. She said, my daughter has severe demon possession. So we ain't even talking about a little ADHD medicine on this level. We ain't even talking about no little stuff at all. This is major times 100. So much so that she is taking on responsibility. It must be something in me is the reason why she is being possessed. Have mercy on me. Now we don't know her history. The word don't even tell us. We just know she's not from that region. We just know that she wasn't supposed to be in route. She also, we also know that the disciples didn't want her to be bothersome. You know, there's some times in your life that you gotta push your way. When other people try to weigh you down. You know how you've been to someone, you just got to keep crawling through. I mean, you know when your money seems funny. And you just got paid. And your body's sick. And your kids acting up. And your friends and your families don't understand. And they bring one more issue come on. for you to deal with. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tie a knot in your rope and worship. Just talk to me. Just talk to me. This woman had endurance. She had tenacity. She had boldness. She was not taking no for an answer. Even when the creator, Jesus himself, in the human, human form, ignored her. She still pushed through. Still. Trouble on every side. Nobody there to encourage her. Mm. Nobody there to motivate her. Come on. Mm. Children, her daughter over there crying and hollering and screaming and being possessed and tortured by demons all day, all night. Yeah. I got to get some help.
does that have to do with training? And Daniel, son, couldn't understand that he was waxing the car. Wax on. Wax off. He didn't understand that the race he was doing right now, it was all a practice round. He just trusted to teach him. So he had an attitude, but he did it. And every time he come up with something else, he finished that, Mr. Miyagi, what? Throw him something else to do. They have nothing to do with what he thought he gonna be using to win. That's how God is. You know, God is preparing us. Whether you know it, you are in preparation or not, you he really is doing little stuff at you. You know, he ain't gotta be no big stuff. He's just trying to see if you're going to get up. Are you going to praise him when your body's sick? Thank you, God. Thank you. He, he, are you going to like just complain that you ain't got no money? I know I'm are, are, you, are you just going to say, I don't want that tragedy. I don't want that tragedy. God, the Bible says that she worshiped him. Yeah. Wait a minute. That means my worship got to mean something yeah, it, it means to God. Yes, 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 yes. Notice. Yes. Notice what he said. He said it was her faith. So because of her faith, let it be to you as your desire. And her daughter was healed. And her daughter was healed. Right there. That's a shout. That's a shout. Right there. That's a shout. That's a shout. That's a shout. That's a shout. And her daughter was healed in that very hour. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So all week long, all month long, all Will you quit? Mm -hmm. Don't give in, don't give up. He 
this is just a test. Yes, Lord. It's just a rehearsal. Mm. Come on, that woman in traffic. Oh, woman, great is your faith. Jesus departed from the, the skirt of the Sea of Galilee and went up to the mountain and sat there. Then a great multitude came to him, having with them the lame, huh, the blind, the mute, the maimed, and many others. Many others. And you worry about your little stuff? Many others. You ain't by yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Your stuff ain't we all, you. I we all got stuff. We all got something. We all got something. That's what the word says, right? First thirty. Yeah. It says, then great multitude. That means a lot of people. Yeah. Men of us. Came to who? To him. The one and only. I had him with them. They brought the land. They brought the blind, the mute, the maimed. Can you imagine what that looks like if I was walking down the street? It just looked like zombie field, I'm sure. Just, can you imagine? The people falling off ladders. He brought them. And they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. And he healed them. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 31 says, so the multitude marveled. Ah, oh, they so amazed. When they saw the mute speaking, when the man made whole, when the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorify the God of Israel. Now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, listen, now these are his disciples. I have compassion on the multitude because they have now continued with me three Days and have nothing to eat. Can you imagine? They were so desperate. They weren't worried about what they were going to eat. What they were going to drink. What they was going to wear. Whether they had pain pills or not. They were just going to keep going. They didn't know how long. Thank you for that word, dog. They didn't know how long the journey was going to be. They were just going to keep going until something happens. happens. Something will happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. He said, I do not want them sent. I don't want to send them away hungry. Lest they faint on the way. I don't want them to lose strength. <coughs> Verse 33 said, his disciples said to him, where will we get enough bread in this wilderness to fill such a great multitude? Now, we've heard so many times, and we've read the story about the two fishes and the five loaves. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? But he did it again. Look at this. Ooh. Verse 34. Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? Does this sound familiar? And they said seven. Wait a minute, not two? Seven. He said seven. And, and, and what? A few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. He took the seven loaves and the fish and gave thanks and broke them. And gave them to his disciples, and the disciples gave to the multitude. So guess what? They all ate and were filled. And they took up seven large baskets full of the fragments that were left. 
Now those who ate were 4,000 men. Besides women and children. You don't know what you are carrying. You don't know who you're carrying it for. Sometimes we think it's all about us. But really, it's not about you at all. You got generations and generations and generations of people riding on your endurance. You have generations and, gener and generations relying on your perseverance. So no, we can't quit. Because when we sing the song, it's not about us. It really isn't. It really isn't about me. I keep imagining how long can you be severely possessed without losing your own mind? Can you imagine feeling helpless as a mother? And nothing you have done for your child can ease her discomfort? When you are demon possessed, all throughout the Bible, when we've seen people being demon possessed, their bodies getting thrown against the rocks and they're set apart from the crowds and people got them isolated and locked up. And that's my baby. This is not an animal. It may be to others. But this is my child. That's how God is seeing us. We are his children. And though they want you to be isolated and bound and tied with drugs and this, that, and other, you still his child. Even when you're not making good decisions, you still his child. That's good news. When I was reading this, y'all, I was so excited because nobody, and I'm telling you, I I was sitting here this week in my own flesh saying, okay, God, this, this got to be a comedy show. Because I, I'm trying to figure out, I, I know I belong to you. Why is it that all this stuff coming towards me at one time? Have you ever felt that way? I mean, I, I give, I serve, I preach, I love, and yet that does not stop the trouble that's going to come towards you. It is not what we are going through. Is you fix your mind to how you are going to get through it. Amen. Come on, come on. Come on. Come here. Come here with We can do the woe is me. Woe is me. But remember, you got generations right. You quit, they quit. Ain't got time for it. I know Peter probably lasted about 10 seconds. And that probably was not too long. Because when I think about the goodness Amen. There you go. of Jesus and all he has done for me, there you go. my soul That's it. Say it. Say it. Say it. says, 
Much like this woman saying, I'll take the crumbs if it's from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may not mean that to you. But if it's coming from God, I'll take it. How many know he can take a little bit? Yeah. And make a lot. He kept showing you. Yes, he will. He did it again with the fish. Yes, he will. He went from seven to feed four thousand. With just a few loaves and a few baby fish. It is your faith. That is going to get his attention. That's going to keep his attention. It is your worship. Mm. That's going to get his attention. Mm -hmm. It was your worship. It was her worship. So if I can say anything to you. As I speak to myself. <clears throat> God is not through blessing you. He's not. He's he not through blessing you. And though it's difficult, and I'm not telling you to be in denial about the difficulty that you must face, but I am going to tell you to go back. And I'm going to tell you to go to this old word. And I'm going to tell you to use the word on the word. This wrong in my heart as I was sitting this morning. And I'm going to read it to you in a way. And I hope that it touches your heart. Very familiar passage of scripture. But when you're going through, grab hold to it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still water. Jay, he restores my soul. Ah. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the day, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with all my cup. We'll run over. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. In the rope in your life. 
and remember he's worthy to be worshipped. Worship God. Worship God. God bless you. Just one moment. Let's give it time.